Hi guys, welcome back to Apple Topics. In this video, it's a very different video. I haven't done one of these videos in a while. So, uh, today's video is going to be about these two computers. A uh, Chromebook is from my school. Um, I'm just covering the thingy. And okay, so I unlocked it. Let me close the window. And that's my background. I love Tesla. So, this is the Chromebook that uh, the school gave me so I could work from home since my MacBook right there, which is a 2009 mid uh, MacBook 5.2, um, didn't work. Um, I already fixed it, that's why you're here. That's uh, what the, all this video is about. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I, uh, I wanna give a very special uh, shout out to him. Does do one. He's the one that saved my computer's life that so the one of the reasons this is uh, i don't like this computer is too laggy it doesn't work without wi-fi and and i really don't like chromebooks i'm sorry for the ones who love chromebooks but i just don't like chromebooks um they're too awful i just don't like them the keyboard is decent enough actually um uh, i won't play the video right now and let me do a new desktop and so I actually, uh, one of the reasons why I didn't use uh, my MacBook is because um, it has a very old Mac OS, which is Mac OS El Capitan. And now let's get right into the video. Okay guys, welcome back after my intro. And I'm gonna finish explaining right now. Um, what I had to do is I had to install in this USB I actually did all of this in this MacBook, which was a pain because this is so slow right now in the old version. Um, because, um, uh, well, it has a very old thermal paste, which I will be making a video, not now, in the future, very future, because I don't have the money right now. Um, and I don't like uh, to buy anything right now because of, you know, the sickness is going on right now. So... I actually installed uh, using the macOS Catalina Patcher. I installed a version, a copy of it, um, made by Dudes One, I think it's called. Yeah, and that then I uh, connected in to the Mac book, and then you have to hold the uh, the option key as soon as you hold the power button, and then you're gonna be able to be. Um, yeah, just watch the video. I'll put down in the link below oh and i'll also put it in the i card right there or there i don't know where it will be i'll put the link of the video uh in the i card so you can watch the video if you have an unsupported mac and let's boot it for the first time actually it already put it once automatically but this is the second time i didn't see anything let's do this one two three Oh, that, that, um, CD sound. Okay, so... As you can see, it is turning on. Um, well, that never happened before. Um, yeah, so that's weird. I'm sorry for the background noise. Um, so, it already did this once. I don't know, just because I remote this. I have no idea. I don't think so. Let's just let it run. Oh, there we go. It will take a while to load and turn on, as you can see right there. It will take some time, since this is a very old uh, computer. It's not taking that much damage. It always gets stuck around there. So, I'm going to do a small time lapse. Okay guys, it has loaded into the hello screen. Welcome. The so Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. <coughs> if you know how what? to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the escape key. Okay. So I'll go ahead and set up this Mac. I'm going to take you guys through. Let's find um, the country. Let's see. Where is it? I think it's all the way down. Where is it? 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 Where is it?
um, there are many features. Um, let me connect to my Wi-Fi. Let me put my password. Data and privacy continue. Don't transfer. Oh, uh, because it was, what I was going to say is when you do this, it will erase every single thing. It will be like a brand new Mac in backup. You can go ahead and do a, a time machine backup as you can see right there. But as I, you can see, I'm going to uh, select don't transfer any information now. I'm going to go ahead and blur this because I'm going to write my Apple ID. Okay. Okay, um, let me grab my phone for the, ver for the verification code. Let's see, terms and conditions. Okay. What is up iCloud it's gonna set up iCloud put all my iMessages okay, so I have to rush this um, because I'm running out of time my phone is getting uh, out of battery since I'm doing this very late like at 5 30 p.m. so we have analytics I obviously and well not obviously I always check that I always want to uh, share crashes and usage usage data with Apple developers with app developers Okay, checking iCloud status. Um, screen time. Well, that's new. Didn't have that late um, before. I'm gonna actually go ahead and set that up. Set that up later since we don't have much time. I don't wanna make you guys sit here. Siri. Oh wow! I finally have Siri on my MacBook. I've always wanted to have that. Um, share audio recordings. Maybe I'm a weird person because if you see videos about cars they uh, or computers or unboxings of iPads or iPhones, they love the color black. I love the color white. I love the light mode. I um, have a 2014 iMac that you saw when we installed the LEDs. Sorry for the very bad recording right now. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and choose auto. Even though I mostly, um, what's happening? Oh, well, that's the dark mode. Wow. And I'm going to go ahead and choose auto mode. Looks like it's not working. Ah, come on. I'm just going to leave it like that. Whatever. Let's just say it's working and it's daylight. So, yeah. Setting up your Mac. This is the first time I think you're going to probably see your desktop. Um, setting up your Mac. This is the, probably the only time you're going to see that picture. Wait, um, so if you're wondering what that is, let me just zoom in so you can see. By the way, in real life, you don't see those lines going through. It's just a refresh rate, just the camera struggling. Um, as you can see, this is a built-in built program, um, it, which makes uh, updates easier. As you can see, I was telling you this wasn't working correctly. So, there you have the update, trackpad, keyboard patch, backlit control patch, well that's all screen time, oh it's a beautiful day today, beautiful day, uh, as I was saying, uh, that looks, this doesn't look like something good, I will go ahead and update that, not now because I need to do some homeworks. Um, so let's go ahead and minimize that. Let's go ahead and close that. Oh, look at that. Uh, Mac OS Catalina. Let me just take a picture of that. Um, version 10.15.3. MacBook 13 inch mid 2009. Processor 2.13 uh, gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. Memory 3 gigabytes of, uh, of RAM. Graphics and NVIDIA GeForce and, and as you can see it is not a joke it is running Mac OS Catalina oh wow and you have the new the brand new um, apps uh, Apple Music Apple Podcast and Apple TV Plus wow okay so that's pretty much it for today's video um Thank you for watching, and thank you if, uh, if you made it all the way to the end. I'm going to go ahead and uh, recommend you to the...
does do the one so um yeah i will recommend those people to you because they have done a great job um storage and a good what how do i already how am i already using so much storage but the good thing is with the new software update you can manage the storage right there before it was so difficult to erase all this the, the stuff but now it's so easy but now i have to install all of, all of my pictures and programs again but now it's this is so cool um so thank you for watching people and yeah thank you for watching uh please subscribe turn on the bell icon if you like this video like the video and i hope you have a good day peace out